Well, hey everybody, Andy here. Thanks for joining me today. And today we're going to be looking at the Nikkor NU25 Ultralight Headlamp. Is it one of the best on the market today? Let's find out. And if you're new to the channel, this channel is all about backpacking, outdoor adventures, and gear. <laughs> Most definitely gear. And a few tips and tricks along the way too. So if any of those things interest you, consider subscribing. And then you'll be alerted every time I post new content. And there is a lot of new content coming. So sit back and relax, and let's dive right in. So I'm gonna go through five reasons that make this one of the best ultralight headlamps on the market today. And then at the end, I'm gonna also go through a few things that you need to know before you buy this to make sure it's the best for you. So let's get into it. All right, the first reason why people are buying this is, is most likely the weight. This thing is a ridiculous 1.15 ounces on my scale with the shock cord strap. They also come with a different strap. That's gonna change the weights a little bit, but at 1.15 ounces, that is ridiculously light for those that are looking to shave weight and carry less. Now, the second reason is gonna be its light capabilities. This thing has three different lights it's got the main bright white light, it's got a secondary white light that it's a little bit more of a flood, and it's got also a red light. So if you're looking for a headlamp that is fully featured, that's gonna have red light for night vision, you know, a flood light that's a little dimmer for map reading or some tasks around camp, and then your main bright white light, this is gonna check all of those boxes. Now, in addition, it's also gonna have four different lumen outputs um, which you really want to see that kind of variability in a headlamp too. So you're going to have, now it's, it's turbo setting goes all the way up to 360 lumens. Are you kidding me? For something this tiny, 360 lumens. That's crazy. And then you're going to have 160 lumens for your high, your medium is going to be at 38 lumens, and your low is just down to one lumen. That is outstanding um, capabilities for such a small ultralight headlamp. Well, the third reason this is such a good headlamp is its long run times. If, if you have all these great capabilities, but it doesn't last, it doesn't do you a whole lot of good. So having long run times is a big deal. On this, for example, on the peak, like burst turbo mode, you get up to 30 minutes at that 360 lumen mark. Now on the high, which is 190 lumens, you get um, about five hours of runtime. And then all the way down to on the one lumen low setting, you get 160 hours of runtime. So extremely long runtime. Now the fourth reason is gotta be the battery type. This is a rechargeable lithium ion battery. So what that means is I'm not bringing spare batteries. It's not using AA or AAA batteries. It's got a built-in battery and I plug this into a USB to recharge it. So if I'm already bringing, say, my cell phone, if I'm already bringing, say, some kind of GPS device, I'm probably bringing a backup battery bank, you know, something like my Anchor uh, 10,000 milliamp or my Anchor 20,000 milliamp battery on my backpacking trips to keep those other devices charged. Well, now if I've got a headlamp that uses that same type of USB, um, rechargeable capability, now I don't have to bring spare batteries. I can bring something like this and not worry about having to run out of time if I'm on an extended trip. Now, to be honest, on a you know three-day weekend trip, I've, I've never run out of power. I've never had to recharge over that length of time. But if you're going on an extended trip um, and you already have those other devices coming along, well, this allows you to cut out some extra weight and not have to bring any other spare batteries, double A's, triple A's and that makes it pretty darn useful. Now, the last thing, my fifth reason why this is gonna be utilized in the backpacking community and, and camping in general is weather resistance. You know, if you're gonna be out in different climates, different environments, you need it to be able to survive and function properly in, in all of those environments. So this comes with an IP66 rating, which means um, it's, it's very resistant to dust and, and to water, um, you know, if it's going to get splashed or even, you know, they, they talk about a jet stream of water shot at it, it's going to resist that. That's not going to be a problem. Now, it doesn't have the, the rating where um, it's submersible, 
but you know, for rain showers, downpours, things like that, this is gonna provide you enough protection that it's gonna function perfectly through all of those different types of environments. Now that's a lot of positives. Well, what are the negatives? So before you run out and buy this, here's a few things that you should know. First and foremost, I have a little bit of a concern with the durability of this. Anytime you get into the ultralight stuff, um, you tend to have to baby it a little bit. At least that's been my experience. And this is no different. So if you've seen my um, Black Diamond Spotlight review, one of the other great ultralight headlamps on the market today, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and, and link that up above. Um, I had some concerns about just the overall durability of, of what that would be like after you know a year's worth of use. And I have the same concerns with this, specifically the backing. It, you know, it's, it's carved out, it, it's made to shave as much weight as you possibly can um, out of the back plate of this but that's led to some durability issues. And in, and in light use for me, just keeping it in my pack, in my hip belt pocket, you know, throwing it in my pocket, that kind of use, it developed a crack in it. Now, the back plate is replaceable and it's easy to go find those online and have one shipped out to you. So, you know, it's, it's not a deal breaker for me, but be aware, you know, this is something that can break because they're trying to cut as much weight out of this thing as humanly possible. Now, the other thing I'd like to see an improvement done on is, is the USB connector. Now, this is a USB micro connector. So you have to have that specific cable on hand to, to charge this. Now, as more and more devices are going to USB-C, it'd be nice to see this join the fray and have a little bit better compatibility with USB-C. So I'd, I'd love to see them change that connector port and eventually upgrade to a USB-C. You're gonna get you know, faster charging capability um, and it's just gonna be more compatible with, with other devices. And that'd be nice for me, rather than having to take multiple cables to just have to take one. Now, those are pretty minor um, cons for something that has so many positives going forward. And that's why you can see that this has become one of these staples in the backpacking community. It's super ultra lightweight, um, it's fully featured, it's got a rechargeable battery, just lots of great things going for it. Now, I'm gonna leave down below in uh, the description box all the specs, um, all the information. Where can you get it? Um, you know, where can you go look up more information about it, go through all the spec list, all of that information is gonna be down below. And if you found this valuable, please go ahead and give me a like. I really appreciate that. It supports the channel. So, that's the Nikkor NU25, one of the best ultralight headlamps on the market today. If you're in the market for a headlamp and you're looking specifically for a rechargeable headlamp, this is probably one that you should consider. Well, that's all for today. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, be well.